Now to a record settlement over alleged discriminatory practices in housing. City National Bank has agreed to a record settlement after the Justice Department accused it of refusing to issue mortgages in predominantly black and Latino communities. Faith Abube is in Los Angeles with more. Good morning, Faith. Good morning to you, Michael. This is a historic settlement for several reasons. The U.S. Justice Department forcing Los Angeles-based City National Bank to pay an unprecedented $31 million, accusing the bank of systematically avoiding giving loans to people in predominantly black and Latino L.A. County neighborhoods between 2017 and at least 2020. The DOJ saying the bank even went as far as discouraging them from getting the loans in the first place, alleging that it was all part of an illegal and racist practice called redlining. Now, as part of that settlement, City National, which some people call the Bank of the Stars, has agreed to put almost all of that $31 million towards funding loan subsidies. It'll also open at least one new branch in those communities with at least four mortgage loan officers. Of course, this is all subject to court approval. While City National Bank officials are denying any wrongdoing, saying in a statement to ABC News that we disagree with the allegations, but nonetheless support the DOJ in its efforts to ensure equal access to credit for all consumers regardless of their race. And Michael, this is a big deal. The largest redlining settlement in DOJ history. Officials hope it sends a strong message to other lenders. Michael. Yeah, it is a big deal indeed. Their faith in it. the Department of Housing and Urban Development, they're, they're making changes to level the home buying field as well. Uh, they are, Michael. Uh, we've reported on allegations of racism in the home appraisal process where the same home is appraised thousands of dollars more for a white family than a black family. HUD is now announcing a new process that allows people seeking government financing to request a review of their appraisal using specific steps if they suspect a racial bias. So HUD is now saying that this new change will actually make the process fair. Michael. Faith Abube, thank you so much. Well, hey there, GMA fans. Robin Roberts here. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Lots of great stuff here. So go on, click the subscribe button right over, right over here to get more of awesome videos and content from GMA every day, anytime. We thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the morning on GMA.